Hi, I'm Jared Williams. I'm the district attorney for Burke and Richmond counties. I'm a community member like you. And just like you, I'm hurting because of the news of continued violence and foolishness, not only in our streets, but in our schools. We have had numerous incidents over the past several weeks. Fights at school, a brawl at Butler, culminating in a shooting at Josie. Josie hits home for me. My grandma stayed on Wooten Road, one street over from Josie. I went to church on Coger Street, one street over from Josie. I played and prayed all my life growing up right in that community. I hate that kids are suffering, that they're distracted, that they're scared, all by the actions of a few. I went to Josie and Murphy Middle today to serve breakfast to the school staff. And before I could walk into the building, I had my heart broken. A little boy walked up to me, confused, because he had his poster in his hand for his school project, and it was his day to present to his class, and he was excited about it. And he's wondering where everybody was. And I had to tell him that there wouldn't be any school today. It breaks my heart because he was disappointed. All he wanted to do was learn. Our community deserves better than this. Our community is better than this. And while everything that I do in these courtrooms centers around serious violent crime, the truth is that we need to wake up. Reacting to crime is not and has never been enough. It will not make us safer in the long run unless we invest in our kids and in our community as a whole. We have to make choices about how we as a community are going to join together and forget about who gets the credit or who takes the blame, but find solutions to help our kids. I have information that the shooter involved at Josie is likely the child of multiple incarcerated parents that both his folks are locked up. Why is it that we never take the time to ask what's going on in a kid's home life until he's already done something to get our attention? Why do we invest so much in our prison system and so little into programs that will help our kids, including kids of incarcerated parents, so that they don't end up being locked up right there with them. When are we going to wake up and realize that what we fail to invest in our children today is what we'll have to invest in our prisons tomorrow? I am in this fight for the long haul. I'm in this fight with you. Understand that we're not just fighting crime. We're not just fighting for our safety. We are fighting for the very soul of our community. To that little guy at Murphy Middle, I'm sorry you couldn't go to school today. I'm sorry you didn't get to present to your class. I saw the poster. I know you worked hard on it. I want you to know that there are people in this community who love you without even having to know you. And we're not gonna stop fighting until you get the chance. God bless you.